guys, welcome back to Construction Simulator 2015 with me, Brad M73, and uh, we've got all of our machines back here at the uh, my depot, I guess, my my home base. Um, and I don't think I don't think I have any jobs active, or do I? No, I don't. Architect, no, we don't want that. Uh, special jobs. Warehouse integration. Stadium bleachers. Hmm. All right, so we got to do that. Pick up some things. This actually might be pretty cool because it's really close. Let's do the warehouse with integrated office. <clears throat> and then when we come back... Um, maybe in an episode or two, whenever we get this job done, we will do the stadium with the bleachers. I know a lot of you guys are like, why don't you, you know, hire workers and do jobs? And, um, <clears throat> mainly because I want to do them myself. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, is that the new, oh, that's the new crane. Holy crap. Look how big that is. Oh man. We have to check this out. <clears throat> That would be so cool if we could actually, like, climb all the way up to the top of it. Um, enter flat. Holy moly. Like. Okay, so you have to, in order for us to kind of see how we get up here. So you have to go up all these, these things. Then there's, like, these two. I don't know what these things are. I guess they're, I don't know, I have no idea. Um, so you come up here, and you come, wait. How are you supposed to get up through there? It's solid. I'm assuming, oh wait, right there is a piece of a ladder. So I'm assuming that this has to be rotated a certain way. <clears throat> and that, um... You know, you would climb up through here. I'm sure there would be a hole in there. Um, and you'd have to come out here, go in the little door, and then you're in this cabin, swaying in the wind. Yeah, screw that. How in the heck? Oh, <clears throat> let's go out the boom arm here. See how far I can zoom out. That's as far as I can go, which is almost to the end, I guess. Getting fairly close to the end. Oh, look at look at all the graphics artifacts out there. Yay! Crappy graphics engine. Man, look at look at how much larger it is than this the other the little crane. <laughs> that thing's like tiny compared to this one. Dang. Okay, well anyway, I've had my I've had my fun. Um, so we're supposed to what? Go talk to... No. Uh, mobile crane. Right? Okay. So our guy's over here. Let's go talk to him. Find out what's going on. Uh, a guy from the industrial quarter near the harbor called. One of his employees recommended our company. He says he knew. He said he knows you. Okay. Ah, that must be the guy I met at the harbor when I delivered the transformer. A friendly fellow. What did he want? Not him, his boss. He plans to build a new warehouse and is looking for a construction company. And guess what? We have the job. I think it's mostly because of the location of our company. We can start immediately. I'm really pleased. The relocation to the city has paid off. Why, yes. Yes, it has. Um, oh, we're like frozen. There we go. Now we're unfrozen. All right, so compress the area. All right, so first things first, we are going to need to get into our roller. And we'll just um, teleport this over to the construction site. And we've got... A big area to work with here. Wait, where are we? 
Oh, we're like literally right next door. That's awesome. turn this thing on it? No. Oh, there we go. X. Okay. Gosh, could you imagine, like, if we got a job where we actually had to, like, flatten, like, actually flat flatten this area out? Holy Moses. That'd be near impossible in this game. So yeah, sorry I didn't get this episode out a little bit sooner. Um, you know, just had some family things to uh, deal with this weekend, and um, you know, I'm not really going to go into it. But you know, s sad stuff. And um, you know, I just I just needed to take a few days off for myself and kind of, you know, I guess give my time give myself time to grieve and do all the things that I needed to do so um, so yeah we're gonna be a few hours late on this episode um, I didn't get a an episode of construction sim out midweek this week because of um, you know the happenings and everything so you know it, uh, it's just that's life and that's the way it goes <clears throat> so if you're mad at me get over it <laughs> uh, my dog didn't let me sleep at all last night <clears throat> she was up walking around and walking around I would get up and I would let her out and she would go out and not really do too much and then I knew she I knew she had to like go poop but I wasn't about ready to walk around the block at you know 5 a.m. <laughs> especially when I'm like so tired I can like have you ever been like so tired that you were like physically nauseated that's how tired I was and I just I could I was having trouble sleeping and getting to sleep and it's just uh, I hate feeling that way but you know, sometimes you you get really tired. Oh, and uh, I I realized when I was uh, recording Farming Simulator yesterday for you guys, um, I filled up a two terabyte hard drive. Now a couple months ago, I actually went out and I bought like a new two terabyte hard drive, and I are like I, I copied about I don't know I thought I copied about six or seven hundred gigs off of the drive but apparently I didn't and I mean it's it's incredible it, it's either that or it's how I have the file uh, the like the I don't know if it's the cluster size or what but uh, you know how I have that all allocated on there. Um, you know, when I formatted the drive, so, um, anyway, I'm trying to copy a, a bunch of files over right now, like, in, actually, I'm doing that in the background while I'm playing this game, so that I will have enough room <laughs> to, to edit and save my videos once I'm done, uh, you know, with the episode, so... Um, I discovered that yesterday. That was kind of interesting. Um, I worked on my Millennium Falcon quite a bit yesterday. Um, if you guys don't know about that, um, I am actually... You know, if you're a Star Wars fan, you might want to check it out. Um, I'm actually building a... Um, it, it is a... What they call a one-to-one -one scale. Now, it's not like life scale. But it is a one-to-one -one replica of the original shooting model that, um, that they had built for Empire Strikes Back and I think Return of the Jedi. 
And it's going to be about, you know, th almost three feet long, about two feet wide. In other words, it's going to be absolutely massive. And I've been working on this thing for a couple months now. Um, actually, about yeah, about two months, I'd say, is about right. And um, But I, I'm actually up to, I think, month five? Yeah, month five on their subscription. So, um, you know, I, I've actually kind of jumped forward. I was able to... Um, you know, get them to get me all caught up with, you know, the subscription. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, I've, I've kind of rushed through that. I still have a lot of work to do, a lot of backtracking because I didn't have my airbrush in. So, and my airbrush actually got here on Friday. And so I've actually spent a lot of the weekend, um, you know, doing some painting and airbrushing and things like that. And you know, just because it kind of gets me away from the computer for a little while, and it's it's nice and relaxing, and I enjoy it. Um, so I'm I'm basically I've got to start editing like a ton of videos for that series, um, but you know because of the hard drive space limitations and things like that, I've kind of not been really doing it. I don't want to clear the construction site. I want to do it all myself because I think I get. I think I get more experience if I actually do it all myself, don't I? Whether or not the experience is worth it is another story altogether. But by golly, I gotta finish this job, guys. Oh gosh. I would say this is getting to be pretty good, if I do say so myself. Come on, we just got this last little bit. <laughs> I mean, is is this roller really going to compress that much? I'm not. I'm not convinced that it will. All right, so let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Uh, okay. All right, so let's uh, put, the, whoop, put this back home. Okay, so no, not there. Though it is nice to know I've got extra room. All right, so now we need to pick up some rebar from a materials trader. Well, that'll be easy enough. Considering we're right next to... Oh, my gosh. Sorry, I was trying to pick up my... What's going on here? I have, I have too many cables on my desk. That's what it is. I've got joysticks and throttle quadrants, and I got a uh, wireless headset. Well, I guess the wireless headset isn't contributing. I'm actually using my wired headset. I use I use my wired Logitech G35 for all my recording um, because it, it actually has better audio quality. Like the mic sounds a lot better um, than the. Uh, I, I and then I have a the what is it the G930 I think. As soon as I stop driving, I'll, I'll tell you. I think it's the 930. And, uh, oh, we I even have the little dump truck there. Yeah, it is the Logitech, yeah, the G930. And it's great for, like, if I just want to talk to my friends on, like, TeamSpeak or, um, you know, walk around and kind of do things at the same time while, you know, talking to people or whatnot. Or... And so, um, 
Oh, these are the small pieces of rebar. Okay, good. But, um, you know, the audio quality is just not as good. Like the mic, the, you know, what I hear sounds the same, but what the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, boy, I, I, like, drank something earlier, and it's, like, making me kind of cough. The, uh, you know, the mic audio quality, it just doesn't sound quite as good, and I've heard that it's because... Um, the uh, the headset has to encode the audio because it's wireless, so um, you know it has to actually kind of reduce the bit rate of the audio so that it you know can actually um, broadcast that that audio, I guess, better or more efficiently or who knows what. Come on, keep going that way. Uh oh. And I also have I don't know if you guys heard that. It's ha that that disconnecting sound like oh gosh. Okay. I think my um my ROG Swift monitor kind of has a problem where see it has like a its own built-in USB hub, which is nice uh, so that I can hook up like my my SciTech joystick. The downside to it is it makes that connection disconnection noise like all the time, and um, not all the time, just some of the time. And I can't figure out exactly, you know, if that's what's causing it because it seems like when I whenever I disconnect the USB hub, um, it doesn't make that sound at all. So yeah, I don't know. Actually, let's see if I can pick this guy up. All right. So anyway, that's why I use my wired headset for, you know, doing all my recording. <clears throat> I am thinking about purchasing like an actual studio mic. A lot of people have mentioned that like, hey, you should get like a Rode or a um I've been looking at like the Blue Yeti or the Blue Yeti Pro. Um, I don't, there's not really a huge difference in audio quality, I don't think, between the, the Yeti and the Yeti Pro. Some people may, who, you know, know audio stuff might know better, but the specs are almost identical. Oh, the Pro has the, um, the connection for, like, actual, like, audio, like you know like performance microphones and stuff like that it actually has those types of hookups instead of the usb i don't know if it has a usb it might be like the professional grade connection i i don't know i don't know that much about audio stuff so i'm just gonna shut up for i just sound like an idiot i'm already an idiot <laughs> too late Okay, so let's just get that on there close enough, right? Oh, well. I guess I'm just going to have to drive more carefully with this rebar on the back. Doesn't really seem like it's going to go anywhere. Rebar is heavy stuff. I mean,
We don't have very far... Wow, look at our tower crane there. Still there. <clears throat> yeah, it's not going anywhere. Um, wait a second. Um, is it this? No. Okay. Wait a second here. I thought there was a way. No. Hmm, okay. Never mind, I guess. Let's, um. Let's see here. Okay. Turn off the question marks. That's getting annoying really quick. I'm going to see if this works. Oh, maybe not. It's rebar. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Two for the price of one. Booyah. Bam. Awesome. Okay, backspace and <gasps> we're frozen again. Okay, all right. Now we need the concrete truck and mixer or concrete pump and mixer. I'm sorry. Now we're right next door, so I'm not even going to bother to transport this. You know, now that now that I think about it, I don't remember what was even here before. Um, if there was actually like a building here before, or not. What does that say on the side? HP 160H 41M. Huh, okay. Whatever that means.
There we go, we were stuck on the truck. Alright, I'm gonna have to, there we go. How far can we go? Oh no. Maybe I can sling some out there. <laughs> Not bad. Why is it lifting that up? There we go. Okay. Oh, out. All right. Where is my concrete mixer? Uh-oh. Are we going to have enough concrete for this whole job? There's only 44% in there, which I'm going to tell you right now may not be enough. Now we got the yellow light. to me like it's going in there. All right. Yes, it is. All right. So we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just keep going back and forth kind of like this. This actually takes <clears throat> a lot more concentration than it would you would think. Of course, I don't really think these guys are using like, you know, Xbox controllers to deliver their their concrete. I know we're missing a few spots here, peeps, but <clears throat> we're going to have to, uh, you know, cut a few corners, I think. It's just a game. Of course, like everybody that, that's got like severe OCD, they're all unsubscribing right now.
Okay. Uh oh. There we go. Now I can see where I'm pumping. I don't want to clear the construction site just yet. It keeps telling me to do these things. I don't want to do them. I want to get the experience. Okay. I, you know, I should have checked how many steps this thing has. Because we've got, we've got to pour the concrete, and I think we need a crane or something like that. To, I don't know. I don't know if we need the mobile crane or which one we need. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. I'll look. I'll look once we're done here. Okay, so now we just have to kind of go around in the semicircle and then we can send our guys out onto the surface to smooth it all out. Because, you know, pumping concrete like this, you know, only takes, what, five or ten minutes anyway? <laughs> Not. Okay. Golly, that didn't take nearly as much as I thought it would. Alright, home base city, yes. And then we'll reset this vehicle. Okay, wall forms from a materials trader. Is this, let's see. Wall, oh my gosh, look how many more. we got wall forms, we've got... Wall forms, concrete, we got to pour concrete. We have wall primer, concrete bags. Wow. Pour concrete into prepared elements. Prefab wall panels. Holy crap, eight of them there. Um, ceiling materials. And then talk to form. Whoa, this job is way longer than I thought it was going to be. Woo. All right. So I was going to <clears throat> take this guy all the way home, but I don't think I will now. Alright, so what do we have to do? We have to get four wall forms from the materials dealer. So the flatbed truck with crane. Let's see. So I guess we'll have to get some wall frames or something. Alright, let's see what we need. Wall forms. Four of those. Oh, there they are. Okay. Well, those things are bigger than I thought they were going to be. All right. 
Ooh, eighty-five thousand dollars. to rotate these. Okay, there's one. now get out there uh oh I hope I'll have enough room to fit the other one in Go. Uh oh. Nope. Oh, I see which one it's stuck on. Wait, where is it? Okay. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, so this one I'm going to have to pick up. There we go, perfect. Just a tad. Let's go down. No, not that down. Perfect. Let's strap down the load and... And away we go. All right. So that was easy enough. I think, I think, you know, aside from pouring some concrete, it's kind of just uh, delivering materials at this stage, I guess. All right.
That was weird. Okay, disconnect that. Right. Get this lowered out over here, and we will be done with that. <clears throat> then, what do we have to do after this? Was it more delivery stuff? Or was it, like, pumping concrete? I mean, it does say wall forms, so I mean, I'm assuming it is going to be a concrete wall. But you guys know what happens when we assume. And if you don't, well, then you'll just have to figure it out. Okay. It says clear the area. Okay. Okay, let's see. I am the excellent master. What is this like Freemasonry or something? <laughs> I think that's like one of the Freemason titles. All right, unlocking new construction area downtown. No way. You got to be kidding me. We're going to have to pump concrete into each of those little things. <gasps> Wait, what does it say? No way. Oh my gosh. It's like high precision pumping. <laughs> okay, this is going to be... We're going to have to move this a couple times, I think, to get to all the different places. Don't hit the ground. Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to have to hit the forms that we can and hope that that's enough. We get that one? 
That looks like a win. All right, next one up. Uh, why is it going out? Okay, I guess that's how high they're <clears throat> supposed to fill too. Look at that one, right on the money. Okay. There we go. Zoom. Whoa! We filled up two of them. Let's see here. We want to go out and okay I guess that's as far out as we're going to be able to go then oh man it's so close to that one we might be able to get it over there oh There we go. Can we <clears throat> can we move it out to this next one though? This one is really going to be the test. Can go go go. Oh man, we're so close. Oh man. Let's see. Well, it's not going to do anything. I think that is. Oh, wait, wait. No, we're still hope. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, bring it in. There it is. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, now, just need to bring this in. Okay. The rest of these might be pretty easy, actually. Maybe I say that and then they end up being like gigantic pain in the fart box. Come on, get it in the hole. All right, moving right along.
Oh, cool. That See, that one filled up two at a time. <gasps> Sweet! Okay, wall prime. Let's see, how much time do we have left? We have... Uh-oh. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do everything in this episode. Alright, so we got to deliver some stuff. We need two wall primer and concrete bag. Alright, so we're going to need our flatbed truck with crane. We're going to need to get over to the building materials dealer and I think we're going to need the forklift for this one. So we're going to check check with you. Three wall primer. Yep. Come on, you can do it. There we go, cargo fastened. Let's see, where is this? Okay. better than that. Alright, pallet number two is coming right up. there all right wow the sound like <laughs> got really quiet there that was weird now I can see this not ending well oh gosh Okay, so is the cargo fastened? I guess it is. Okay, this is the primer, I think. Not that it really matters too much. Since we won't be priming anything. Last but not least, I 
Okay, there we are. Uh-oh. I hope it doesn't tell me that, like, oh, this pallet's not secure. Well, let's go out and see if I can fasten this load. Yes, I can. Flip the door up. How are we doing on time? Oh, no. We probably have just enough time to get this over to the uh, construction area and get everything dropped off. So I'm glad you guys are liking the uh, Construction Sim series. Actually, this is currently my most popular series on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, you know, don't forget to hit that like and share button. You know, it, it uh, you know continues to help me out and help my helps my channel grow. And I hope I hit did not hit that woman back there. I say I said hit first, and that you know that's like the Freudian slip, right? <laughs> No, I hope I didn't hit her. That would that wouldn't be nice. All right, let's go one more. There we go. Okay. Yeah, don't don't forget to hit you know don't forget to like and share. Uh, it really does help my channel grow and uh, allows me to reach more more people and more of my fans and more people that like might like my videos. And I always always do appreciate that. All right, can we get this done quickly? I want to see like what's going to happen now. Like, I kind of want to see what what's going to happen next. Uh, come on, man. There we go. That's seriously as far out as it'll go? Oh no. <laughs> I guess I should have thought about like where I was parking before I did this, huh? Well, that seems to be going a bit further. Uh, why did the... Oh, that's why. Duh. Never mind, I'm a derp. Go, 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 go. One more and we will be done. Hey, this this one has room for the construction crane. Look at that. I just noticed that right back behind there. We can get the construction crane. We'll probably need it because I think it's going to be a couple stories tall, isn't it?
I said, isn't it? No, I don't know. Bam. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. We have to do more of those. All right. Well, that will have to be uh, for the next episode. So, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Once again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe if you haven't done so for this and many more videos. I really appreciate it, guys. I'm Brad M73. This has been Construction Simulator 2015, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.